first time you gon' get locked up. I can buy you that new Birkin, baby, act up. Or I can put you in that Benz, it don't matter. But that G-Wagon do fit you better. I just wanna see you girl do it no man's girl. We can make it lit. What's up, my dear babies? It's your girl, Kendall. And today, I'm back again with a brand new video. Back again with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the title, your girl can be doing a story time on how she got catfish. So first, I just want to say this is not my first time getting catfish. This is not my first rodeo. I got catfish two times. This will be the second time that I got catfish. Um, no, I didn't learn my lesson the first time. I do have some receipts on the story time or whatever but most of them like old messages between me and him like getting to know each other i don't have that because i guess i deleted our conversation or whatever and to the story time so me and this person we met really off of my best friend one day she had posted me on her spam and he followed me from his spam on my spam and when i saw that he followed me i didn't know who he was i didn't know nothing about him so I didn't know who he was until I saw that he followed my best friend and he followed somebody else that I knew too. So that's when I guess he texted my best friend and told her to put him on. And I was like, okay, he's cute. I'll text him. I mean, if he texts me, I'll text him back. I'll see what's up with him or whatever. So yes, so he texts me and we started texting from there. It happened during quarantine. Yes, I forgot. We was like getting to know each other. Also, I was not really, I wasn't being faithful because like we was not together. We was just talking, getting to know each other, feeling out each other vibes and stuff like that. We did FaceTime each other, but other than that, I was not really being faithful. Like I had another piece on the side and plus I was talking to other people too. So I'm just like, okay. I started doing YouTube. That's like when I first started doing YouTube. And he was like supporting me this and that third. He had his own clothing business and I was supporting him too because like he had some dope, like some dope clothing stuff. So I was just like support him, shout out his page, or whatever, and he would watch my videos, subscribe to my channel, tell me like, you know, he would like really motivate me, like, you know, you really need to get on it, like you really need to do this, like, you know, start doing YouTube more, like be more serious with it, this and that third. And I think I was telling him about how I wanted to start a business. He was like, do that shit. Like, what are you talking about it for? Just do it. Like, go ahead and do it. This not third. But I wasn't really serious about starting a business then. But I was more serious about doing YouTube than starting a business. So he would motivate me and I would motivate him. He was the one that put me on to Call of Duty on the phone. <laughs> we would play Call of Duty together. We never, never linked with each other never linked with each other so i stayed in play and i don't know where the hell he stayed at he stayed i know he stayed in atlanta for sure but i just don't know what part of atlanta i think it was like a little far from where i stayed at yeah so we never really linked with each other and i never really asked to link with him i never really bothered to link with him or anything like that because at the end of the day i just knew that this was not the person that you know i was gonna potentially be be with like this is not the person that i know that i was not gonna be with in the future so it was just like a little fun a little a fun little vibe you feel me i was not really catching feelings like that i mean i was catching feelings i'm not gonna cap to y'all i'm not gonna cap y'all down and i'm not gonna cap him down you feel me but i was catching feelings like that did i in the beginning of the video did i say this video is not here to bash anybody okay so <laughs> i did not say that before i even continue the video i just want to say I'm not making this video to bash him and say that he was like ugly or anything, but it just like he wasn't who I, who I who I saw he was on Instagram. Okay, so I just want to say that. And his fake name is Demarcus. Demarcus. We gonna call him Demarcus. We had got into an argument. Or I don't know what the argument was about. Cause like I said, if I had the old messages, I would pull it up. But I don't know what it was arguing about. But all I know is that. He made a post on his spam and I can't pull it up no more because he deleted it. All I know is that I had posted on my spam too and I had screenshotted a, I screenshotted a message that I had to my best friend. So then that's when he commented and he said, one love forever, just some shit you don't understand. And I said, you tripping. I said, you tripping if you think I care. And he said, right. Then that's when I had made another post. So I guess he called me a bitch because remember, I did tell you that he had posted on his spam, but he had deleted it. So I can't go back and I can't go get that. I started back talking and then that's when me and him had linked. 
So even though he had called me bitch, whatever, I still forgave him or whatever. Took him back. We we was talking. We talked about like why he did what he did. He apologized for it. When we started red talking, he was like he want to see me this and that third. And I was like, all right, bet. So we had ended up linking. So before, so when he was like on his way here, he was like how he got to go to his mama house to something for his mama, his mama tripping or whatever. So I'm going to go to AutoZone this and third and he and his, and his daddy truck or whatever. He driving his daddy truck this and third. I'm like, okay, I don't care. Me and my sister, we had did something, okay. We was, un well, yeah, we was under the influence, okay. I was under the influence. We pulled up on me and I had went out there and, you know, I just went out there or whatever. He stepped out his truck. I'm like, okay. So my first time, my first time was like, okay, he's a little short. I already knew he was chubby because in his videos and his Instagram posts and stuff like that. But like I said, I didn't care. And this was not the person that I even expected to like date, like date for a long time or anything like that. So I really didn't care but he was a little bit more chubby than what i thought then he was mad short or whatever so i'm like okay so he was like you're not gonna give me a hug so i gave him a hug whatever and we end up going into the truck so we just sit down talking whatever and i'm over here just smiling and i'm just geeking smiling he was like what's smiling so hard i'm like nothing and then i'm just like who the fuck is this <laughs> I said, who the fuck is this? Like, do you have a brother? Because you was not the person that I met on Instagram. So I was like, do you have a brother? But I did not say that. I was just thinking that in my head. And remember, I'm geek, y'all. So when I peeped that, it was just so funny. Like, I was not even mad. I was just laughing, like, because it was just so, like, so funny but i wasn't laughing in front of him i was just laughing in my head and i was just smiling like outside so in the inside i was laughing and then outside i was smiling because i'm just like this nigga just catfish me so we just over here talking or whatever he sound the same he sound the same on facetime it must be true when they say a camera manipulate the fuck out of some shit because this camera manipulate the fuck out of you okay it wasn't like the little the little chunky, dark skin, beardy, chocolate nigga that I met on Instagram. It's like, this is giving me more, giving me more of Oompa Loompa, missing beard parts. You was chocolate. And then it's like, downgrade. Like, it's giving me all of that. I'm just like, no, it's just not the same person that I met. This is not the same DeMarcus that I met on Instagram. I'm like so confused. His mother called, whatever. It was like, she want him to go get, she want her, she want him to get her some food. So he was like, so anyways, so I was like, I understand. Look, I'm not gonna hold you up. I'm gonna go. So I had her up and get out the car or whatever. And I go back and as I'm walking down my long ass driveway, I'm just over here just a key came to myself, pulled down my phone, and I heard this is my best friend. my best friend. This man is a whole catfish, okay? So I was just like a key came with her. I don't remember what I was texting her about, but all I know is that I was just texting her and I told her that. How I broke things off was I just started being distant with him. Cause I didn't want to go out and I just didn't want to tell him, oh, I feel like you was a whole catfish. One day he hit my best friend up on Instagram and was just like, tell your friends I'm blocking you this and that third. I'm trying to text her, I'm trying to call her, I'm trying to text on her, I'm trying to get in touch with her and she over here blocking me this and that third. So she sent me a screenshot or whatever and I text him and I was like, what's up? If I broke things off with you and I said we can just be friends. Why the fuck do you need to know my business? Like, why why does it matter if I'm caking on the phone with a nigga? Like, you agree that we should be friends. I agree that we should be friends. We friends. Nothing more, nothing less. Am I am I tripping about if you text me at the bitch? Am I tripping about you say something on the phone with another bitch? No, I'm not even worried about tripping because you a whole catfish, okay? When he sent that message, I didn't respond back. I didn't even care to respond back because like I said, what did you going so hard for when I just said we just friends? And you just said that we just friends. Like, I just texted you and I said, what's up? You could have been like, 
ah, nigga just want to talk to you. I got to, like, you know, I just want to vent. You was the only person that, you know, I could really talk to this and the third. And you could have told me what was going on. But you did X, Y, and Z. And look at you. Stuck. Still don't got nobody to talk to. So, hell. The fuck? That was the story time on how I got catfish. Y'all, be safe out there because this shit is real, okay? <laughs> Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you really feel this video. Make sure you comment down below. Also, run, yeah, run a like, sub, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you go share this video. So, yes, run this video up, subscribe to my channel, do all that shit, and your girl out. Period.